I've had this earring in there for so long that it's not even my style anymore. Hi friends, it's Ali Shalaby and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. All the hot girls make it pop pop pop. Bad bitches with the bag say ay ay ay. Today I am doing another judo video and we are going to be doing what's in my judo bag. Again, I think you guys seem to really enjoy these videos and I also really enjoy making them. So I thought it would be perfect if we did another one. Okay, so this is my bag. This is a Mutu backpack, which is a Korean brand, I believe. And we just open it up. And then the first thing that I have is my gi, a must, of course. So we have that, and then this bag has several pockets. So if you look, it has this one back here, and then it has another one here, and then kind of like the main compartment down here. So then when we look in the first pocket, I have two belts. This is for competition. If you don't know, when you are competing in judo, if you and your opponent are wearing the same color gi, then what you'll need to do is one of you will wear a blue belt, one of you will wear a white belt. So I have just have this with me just in case I need it when I'm at competitions. And then I have my belt, which I'm going to get upgraded soon, which is exciting. And then in the second pocket, I have this notebook which I keep for writing down notes if I'm at a seminar or something like that, or even just in class. And it just comes in handy for helping you to retain knowledge you learn in practice. So then the last thing I have in here is this first aid kit. And I'll open up it up and show you guys what I keep inside. So this is what it looks like when you open it up. So I have in this top section. I have Neosporin, I have band-aids, just some stuff for nail maintenance because you do need to have pretty short nails to do judo. And then I have a couple of EpiPens in the back. Oh, and then I also have Tylenol. And then on this side, I have some Zyrtec, I have some cough drops, and then I have just a sports pad and then some sports tampons and then just a couple panty liners in there. So on to our next section, which is just going to be the front pocket. So this also has a lot of pockets in it, obviously. So there's this one that is just Velcroed. And then there's this one. It doesn't have any like zippers or Velcro or anything. There's a ton of these smaller ones. And then there's kind of just like the main area of the bag. So in the Velcro pocket, I just keep... A few things so I have some rewetting drops for my contacts I have this roll-on perfume this is one in a million by Bath and Body Works and then I just have some aquaphor okay so then in this second pocket I just have a couple of things I have this waterproof tape and then I have a hair tie I would normally carry multiple but I need to restock that part and then I'll show you guys what I do with this tape, if I can find the end. Oh, there we go. So you basically just rip a little strip off. There we go. And then what you do is just wrap it around your fingers like this or however you want to do it. And all it does is just help you get a better grip, which is really good if you are going to be sparring. And then next, I just keep my mouth guard i don't know how this case broke but i should just get a new one at this point and then i also i've had this earring in there for so long that it's not even my style anymore um i'm just gonna put that over there because we, we don't need to hold on to her any longer so then in the main compartment of my bag i just have a couple of other things i keep a tennis ball, which is good for rolling out your muscles, especially if your feet are sore or cramp up easily. Um, that's my favorite thing to use the tennis ball for. And then I just have this little massage ball thingy, which is good for pretty much anywhere on your body because it rolls itself, if that makes sense. So you don't have to like roll your body over it. You just like 
massage yourself like so. So that really comes in handy again if you have sore muscles. And then I also forgot to mention in this little pocket right here, that's where I keep my extra contacts. So I just have, I think I have six of them in there right now. But I always just want to have extra ones in case I get something in my eye or something like that where I'm going to need to replace it. And then I would also carry my wallet and my keys and a water bottle with me um, when I'm actually going to practice. Obviously, I'm not doing that right now, so I don't have those in my bag with me, but I would take them with me if I'm actually leaving the house. So that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope if you are starting judo or if you just needed some inspiration or some help for what to put in your bag that this was helpful to you guys. And if it was, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And I will see you next time. Bye.